What's up, you guys? Welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta, and it's a really nice, bright morning. And I am actually heading to Ali Bagh, and I thought of vlogging this whole experience. So come on, let's go to Ali Bagh. went from Mumbai Gateway of India to Alibagh by speedboat and we got off at Manwa Jetty and then we got here right now we are in U Tropicana resort and we are exploring their villas and their villas are really really luxurious every villa has about four rooms one living room a private pool and the rooms are just so good so before i do anything else i really want to show you my rooms so come So this is the room and this is the bed and I cannot wait to like take a nap but first let me show you the rest of the room. Here they have this kind of like a see through almost like a really really tall window and you can pull this up and you get a view of the pool. So that is the private pool for the villa and it's going to be used by everybody inside the villa only. And come let me show you outside. This is like a little sit out area of sorts. You can actually call for chairs and chill here. And it's really nice and quiet. And then there's a little desk work area and there is the mini bar. It can be stocked with whatever you like. And here is where we've already kept our luggage. And now let me show you the most interesting part of this room, the bathroom. So this is the bathroom. There is like a proper glass cubicle and stuff. But the main thing here is the open shower. So this here is the open shower and you don't need to worry, nobody can actually see you showering and I think just to be able to take a bath here in like this whole green setting and stuff is just so cool. So this is the rest of the open shower area and here they have these pipe fittings and stuff and you don't need to worry about that but this is what is like the bomb.com. But if you're still a little apprehensive of the open shower situation, which I don't think you should be, you can still use the shower here and enjoy a bit of the view. Now come, let's see the toiletries. You guys know I always check out toiletries of hotels. So here they've actually got their own branding done. So there's conditioner, there's bath gel, shampoo, body lotion, soap. This is almond soap. I like then shower cap basics dental kit and this is the wardrobe oh they have a black bathrobe i've hardly ever seen a black bathrobe in a hotel so this is really cool and even their bathroom slip-ons are black interesting so this is how all the rooms are in the villa there are two rooms down and two rooms upstairs and they're all the same they all have this whole beautiful open shower situation they all have a really nice sit out and all of them have access to that pool so now we'll go check out the pool and check out the living room so this here is the pool area and this is the private pool that i was talking about and this is how the villa looks from outside isn't it gorgeous and here's the gazebo and there is where they do these barbecues and right from here you can get to the living room this is the living room and this here is like a massive dining area the villa is actually great when you're traveling in a big group whether it's family or friends everybody can kind of stay together eat together and also watch tv together 
and the good part is that you don't need to step out of the villa to go grab a bite you can get your food made to order by the chef here I decided to get out of the room. I was getting super duper lazy and I think I'm going to walk around and check out what's here. So this part actually has all of the other villas. There's like this whole row of villas and this one here is ours. That's my sister walking behind. She's running desperately to get out of the frame. <laughs> It's actually a little bit warm today. Mumbai has actually been a bit cooler this time, but today is just really, really warm. There's a family here and they are enjoying cricket. This is the regular pool and those are the resort rooms there. I actually remember that I've stayed in these rooms. So years ago when I was working, I had a company off-site here and we had stayed and that time they didn't have the villas, they only had the rooms. Even the rooms are really, really good. I remember the sit-out part was a lot of fun to chill here. They're actually doing some farming here as well. So you can see this is broccoli growing here and this side they actually have these broccoli pods as well let's see what else they have oh this is cauliflower and this here is beetroot wow they have cabbage look at this like the shades of green the way this whole thing is formed it's so gorgeous Italian basil pak choy some red basil fresh mint leaves it's really good to see them do all of this just shows how much attention they pay to ingredients and stuff and I've never seen a lot of these things growing fresh, so it's real fun. How often do you see resorts with libraries in them? So this one actually has a library and I'm pretty intrigued because I've stayed in a fair bunch of resorts and I've hardly ever seen libraries. They usually use up the extra space to do something, but these guys have actually maintained a reading room. So let's go check it out. You can choose from your books or you can get something of your own and just use this quiet space to get some time off. So this is actually such a nice spacious room and if you're with your family or friends or whoever you can just come get some time alone and sit here. It's nice. They also have this games room so there's a pool table, there's carom. Jenga. <laughs> what I like is that everything is just opening up to this massive pool view. Back to the villa now and I'm checking out the pantry room. This is something that is there in every villa. So you can get some tea here, there's a hot pot, there's also a hot plate to cook up something. There's a microwave, there's a fridge so in case you get some stuff from home you can definitely put that inside. And there are plates, the spoons, bowls, a few extra pool towels. Divya, are you hungry? Very? Yeah. Would you like to say something to my audience? Um, no. She doesn't have anything to say to you. But I have a lot of stuff to say to you, so make sure you watch the rest of the video. <laughs>
was lunch and it was so heavy like i've eaten so much i'm stuffed and i'm all ready to take a nap starters we had tandoori paneer tandoori alu there was seek kebab and main course there was bindi there was paneer there was dal there was jeera rice which was so good and i actually absolutely love the basics here so the dal the rice and bindi were like damn 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 good and the non vegetarian food here is a typical coastal konkani food so these guys had a lot of seafood i obviously didn't eat any non veg but i'm just telling you from what i saw on the table really long nap we we were supposed to wake up in half an hour but it's like 2 hours down and i was actually supposed to get some stuff done in the afternoon but well the body wants what it wants so i'm just enjoying some tea now in these kind of getaways i think the one thing that is very 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 important to me is spa so now i'm going to go check out their spa Before my masseuse comes in, I'm just giving you a quick tour of the spa room. This is the shower. I think it comes with a steamer. I'm just taking the foot massage, so I think it's gonna be quick. This is just so good. I wish this would last like all day. There at the bar there's a live music there's a really good snacks and there's a few drinks so come let's get something barbecue set up here outside in the villa itself and it's so cool also this place is really nice and warm i think i'm going to hang out here a bit more so this looks like the non veg stuff and i think that is where our veg darling is veg mein kya kya hai paneer yes paneer potato and mushroom skewers mm. and the sweet potato wow baby cans So it's gotten a bit cooler in the evening, and this nice garam garam barbecue is in this cool weather will be like bliss. ये क्या है? ये घोल मच्छी. अच्छा. अलीबाग का स्पेशल. अच्छा अलीबाग का स्पेशल है. Yes. I'm putting more vegetarian stuff. Sweet potato we don't. Yes. This one is sweet, sweet potato. potato. Yeah. Hmm. So this is the Ali Bag speciality ghol fish that they were calling. I obviously don't know anything about that because I'm vegetarian. The people I'm with are really really enjoying this. That is the sweet potato. Last night was a lot of barbecue. There was a lot of food, 
and we just kind of slept off after that and I didn't wake up that early this morning but I did wake up early enough to try out their open shower and oh my god it was an experience. After that uh, we had breakfast. Now they have a breakfast buffet but if you're staying in the villa you can also get breakfast made to order and right into the living room. So I think the villa is a great option if you're coming in a big group of people. So the rates of the villa start at about 24 or 25,000 per night and you can have a minimum of 8 people. And there are a lot of add-on services to the villa like having your own butler and stuff and the rates for that differ. So they also have cycles so you can even cycle around the whole property. And there's one thing that I read somewhere I think around the reception that they don't have any checkout time which I think was pretty cool. And right now I'm just lazing around in this hammock. I have to go back pack and leave for Mumbai. Ali back to Mumbai by road is about 2 to 3 hours but if you take the ferry from Gateway of India then it's about 45 minutes to an hour. But we took the speedboat and that just takes about 20 minutes from Gateway to Manwa Jetty. And if you're taking the villa experience, then you can even ask them for a speedboat package. And they'll also ensure that they're coming to pick you up at Manwa Jetty after you've gotten off the speedboat. So now we're all set to go for our ride. And I really, really enjoy this speedboat ride. So let's go.